If you look around this room tonight, you'll see representatives from schools all over the county. And we're all fighting for our children and their health, fighting for air conditioning, for ceilings that don't rain water every time it rains, for intact floors and sidewalks that aren't crumbling. We are fighting for scraps paint jobs and roof patches instead of the 21st century learning environment that every child in this county deserves. And don't tell me it can't be done. There was a time in this county when I was a kid and when most of the board, not Mr. Stewart or Aslan, uh, were, were young, and these school buildings were fantastic. From 1950 to 1965, 15 years, Baltimore County built 90 schools. That's six schools a year. Our parents' generation raised the taxes, borrowed the money, and they did what was needed to do to be done to invest in us. And right up through the early 90s, there was regularly scheduled maintenance on these buildings, and they were in good working order. And this county then went cheap. We stopped proactive maintenance. We reverted to Band-Aids and deferred maintenance. And now we have an administration that, bags, that brags about a $250 million surplus, while our drinking fountains are all shut off in the schools. And the trailers outside of our overcrowded schools are as prevalent as the weeds that are coming up through the cracked sidewalks. And we're surrounded by counties that are doing the right thing. And our families are leaving Baltimore County and going to Howard County, Harford County, Carroll County, where they build state-of-the-art schools, investments that attract great families and growing businesses. In Harford County, their oldest high school was built in 1974. And they're talking about replacing it because it's so old.